There was no sign of cattle herd expansion here in the United States, according to USDA's latest cattle on feed report. Years of drought in the West and a continued presence of drought in the Midwest being a driving factor in those figures. The number of cattle on feed on August 1st was just over 11 million head, which was about 2% below a year ago. During July, about 1.6 million head of cattle were placed on feed, which was 8% below a year ago. Uh, during July, approximately 1.7 million head of cattle were marketed, which was about 5% below a year ago. While moisture this year has helped decrease the impact of drought in parts of the U.S., the expansion of drought in the Midwest may hinder rebuilding efforts for cattle ranchers nationwide. The cow-calf operators' returns have been relatively good, uh, you know, from recent past. Uh, there should be some, if they have grass, there might be some incentives to expand. But again, it's a question of whether or not they have the forage to carry their animals over uh, the winter for breeding in the spring. Looking to later this fall with the prices that producers may receive and or have to pay for bread cows this fall, many may not choose to fully rebuild their herds at a quicker pace, and some ranchers may cash in on the higher bread cow prices and liquidate their herds and kick up their feet and retire. So the U.S. cattle herd expansion may most likely continue on a slower pace than seen in the years from 2014 and 16 when the cattle herd was last rebuilt. Why beef? Because it sustains my family's sixth generation family ranch, America, and a good chunk of the world. Returning back to our farm and ranch news, the American Lamb Board's July market report is out and it indicates that both lamb imports and domestic production are down. Federally inspected lamb and yearling slaughter for July is 4% lower than 2022, and production is about 10% less than last year. One positive note in the report shows the number of mature sheep slaughter is coming in 5% higher than last year. This is being driven by larger coal ewe numbers in Arizona, California, and Nevada, while the eastern Corn Belt, southeast and northeastern part of the U.S. are seeing modest increases from last year. Smaller import volumes also means that more American lamb accounts for total lamb supply so far this year. Lamb imports were down 20% from 2022 for the first half of this year, with New Zealand seeing imports cut by 22%.